A while back, I did a video to remind subscribers that the monthly Google Play system update needed to be manually installed. And if you forget to finalize these updates by rebooting your smartphone or tablet, then you could be missing out on some big changes to Android. Now this is all thanks to the work Google has done on Project Mainline which many of these changes would have been combined into a monthly security update, but those can take a long time to reach your device. So as a way for Google to bypass OEMs and wireless carriers, the company started these Google system updates so they could be rolled out by the Play Store application instead of doing full firmware updates. While Google has done a great job at detailing the changes that are going into the monthly security updates, they haven't done the same with Google Play system updates. Sadly, most of us have had to install these updates blind as we were never given any details about the changes in these updates. Now, thankfully, this has changed recently as Google has begun publishing this information in a support document page. You can find this page right here. I'll be linking to this website, this web page in the video description below. But you can see right here, here are the changes that were added in the Google Play system update for January. So whether you had a tablet, a smartwatch, or a phone, this update includes bug fixes for device connectivity, safety and emergency, system management, and diagnostic and media related services. Not only that, but this update also includes some Google Play Store changes, such as the ability to play as you download, the ability to discover apps and games, some optimization to allow for faster and more, more reliable download and installation, some new features to the Play Pass and Play Points programs, enhanced billing for Google Play, some improvements for Play Protect, and various performance optimizations, bug fixes, and improvements to security, stability, and accessibility. Now this monthly security update for January also includes some system management. With the updates to time zone management system added, and they've added support for the new daylight savings time transition changes that are happening in various countries. And lastly, this update also includes some changes to system management services that will improve device connectivity, network usage, stability, security, and update ability. So if you haven't manually installed a Google Play system update in a while, I'll be including a link to that reminder video that I did to show you where you can find that update prompt. And while I would rather see Google create a dedicated website or a web page for this information, having it listed in a support document is certainly better than nothing. I can just see that over time, this page is going to be filled up with months or years of patch notes, and it would be much easier for them to be outlined in a dedicated website. Still, it's better than nothing and I'm glad to see Google is finally starting to detail these changes to the Google Play Store system updates on Android.